All right, highlights from uh, Wednesday, March 7th in the GreatStockPicks.com live trading chat room. Um, CLNE is one of our calls today, uh, my best trade. Um, you see the daily chart looks pretty good here. This thing's been on fire. Has to do with uh, natural gas fueling stations for cars uh, that are going to run on natural gas. Seems to be a theme that's finally catching on. Um, WPRT is another one. Whoops. WPRT. And at the time, the reason I found CLNE was uh, WPRT, five minute candles, looked like this was just cranking. So I brought up CLNE and said, hey, this could be a good sympathy play. The, 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 um, the charts looked really good. Uh, the daily charts and uh, these have been, just been resilient. Look at every sell off they buy, every sell off they buy. So then today, um, I called it over this old doji candle here. I said 1963, worst case stop, 1950. That's only 13 cents risk, and I uh, was just off to the races and closed at the high of the day. Um, and sold my last little, th my last third of it right up here at the high of the day. I waited till the final close there because I thought uh, the chart looked so good. I thought it might close strong. Um, so the entry on it, uh, let me get this right, uh, 1963, 13 cents risk, and went up to uh, 2041 by the end of the day. A couple others to share with you. Um, DISH, and I'll show you why we call it. See the nice breakout on Dish Network today. Uh, show you why I showed it. Um, we were just kind of, we didn't even have this one on watch, uh, but this is how things are found in our chat room, a pretty good example. Uh, no surprising volume here, nothing out of the ordinary, but then boom. Um, crazy volume. We don't want to chase that, so we just put it on our. We just throw it on a chart somewhere, and then it starts what we call flagging. Okay, it starts forming this little flag pattern. Um, using five-minute candles, there's just no real clean way in. Um, what I often do is switch to 15s. I projected this live actually uh, to our members. Let me zoom in a little bit here, and uh, showed how you had a nice high, lower high, and a nice narrow high, a nice narrow candle with a lower high here. Just a way to clean up those five-minute candles. Um, and said this one, uh, the way to play these flags, uh, recently the nice way to play them, clean them up, use 15s, and dish looks good on 15s. Trigger would have been above this candle 30.32. Boom, right there. Worst case stop goes below this candle 30.21, and you saw the result. Uh, ended up ripping uh, through highs of the day and closing at the highs. Nice breakout on Dish Network, and uh, showed you right there how we found it. Um, TEX, one of our members, uh, his chat room name is Big. Um, Posted it in pre-market, and I told him, I said, I remember seeing this last night looking at charts. It was down five days in a row. Um, this 22 area had been resistance. Let me get my drawing tool going here. And I did spot this last night, but I didn't add it to the watch list. It had been resistance here, became support here, and then I noticed last night it had been down five days in a row to this area. So it was kind of in my mind anyway. And then when Big posted it in pre-market, I immediately said, I know exactly what you're looking at. Um, and the good thing about Big is he reposted it when it looked like this. It would have been a bounce play for me because of those five days down to support. But right off the bat, I don't want to take a trade in the first 5, 10, 15 minutes. Right off the bat, it just gaps up and runs, okay, giving no entry at all. Um, so I turned on the projector and showed everybody. And this is how I look at this. Now, we know we've got a stock that's in good bounce mode, right? Beaten up, coming off support here, bouncing off support. And then these are five-minute candles. And then sellers come in right here. Um, what we what we, what I've named these in chat is a failed fade. Okay, I, I was projecting this. Said if these sellers fail, um, in other words, these, they're only there's only selling going on because they uh, people uh, selling think it's going lower. Uh, if they're wrong, and this can be shorts, and it can also be longs taking profits or longs from a while ago uh, getting back a little bit of their money. Doesn't matter. It's a combination. But uh, the point is, they're all sellers. Okay, they're either shorting or selling whatever. Um, if these sellers fail, in other words, if they're wrong, this one has some room to run. Uh, so the way to play that is if this breaks this red candle's high, um, I think I said 22.76, and your stop would go below this red candle's low. Um, I went on to say I'm not a big fan of taking a high of day break after a big rally, but it met our failed fade uh, parameters. So 22.76, and actually the stop probably would have been below this candle. I'm sorry, 22.47, so 29 cents risk. Um, it took a while to get going, but from 2276, my verbal idea, again, I was projecting the, what we call a failed fade uh, opportunity, went to 22, um, tw I'm sorry, 2363. So that's, a, that's an 87 cent move in our favor on about 29 cents risk. Um, and Dish Network, uh, as I said earlier, 99 cent move on 11 cents risk, uh, much better. Uh, pretty impressive 15 setup. And uh, CLNE, 78 cent move. 13 cents risk. 
um, some nice stuff today. And uh, again, going forward, um, I'm going to start highlighting some of our members. And today I talked about Big a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to copy chat and go over and see how many good calls were made by members in there. Didn't have time to do it today. I may, may, I may make it a weekly, uh, you know, once a week where we highlight some of our members because so many good calls in there. Um, again, I've said before, I'm not the star of the room. I find some ideas, project the charts, and show what I'm looking at. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of credit goes to many of our members who have been with us for a long time, know how to trade. And, uh, and one of the rules in our chat that I think uh, any new member would like is uh, we don't allow bragging. In other words, we don't allow after-the-fact posts. We don't allow someone to say, hey, I'm selling TEX right here at 2360. Sorry, I forgot to tell you I bought it, uh, you know, I bought it right here or whatever. Um, we make people post their trades in real time. So when someone enters something, then later if they're boasting profits, um, you can go back and see exactly uh, where they posted their entry. So there's no nonsense. You have to post your stuff in real time. Um, and a lot of profitable uh, trades posted in there because of that rule. Um, what else? One other thing I want to talk about. We did take a small position in a swing today. So we started a new swing. I've got two swing trades going. Uh, we're nicely green on one now. Um, and then the other one, I didn't even look at where it ended up. But I think we're about flat in it. Uh, and as I mentioned yesterday, we do a scale-in method. So we've got two swing trades working and uh, absolutely looking for more um, because of the market conditions I talked about in the video last night. So I'm not going to babble any further. Very nice day, and we'll talk to you later.